Okay, um, just in this uh, Turkish restaurant right now. Um, we've got a menu here. Um, I'm sure if any stuff's gonna fill me up really, but. What a pita. Just like. That sort of stuff. Um, see what it's like. Um, I'm just gonna settle down to a bit of um, Euripides back eye. Um, so I'm actually at university at the moment and um, I need to memorize all of this for um, for next week. So, um, but what's quite interesting is um, this was actually performed in Macedonia um, oh, and written in Macedonia, in the course of Macedonia, in the last few years of um, Ripley's life and was performed post posthumously um, in Macedonia. Uh, I'm not sure if it was in this part of Macedonia, I'd like to find out um, whether it was in the north or in the part of Macedonia that's now Greece. Um, I'd imagine probably in Greece, which is a bit unfortunate, uh, in like Thessaloniki or something like that. Um, but I quite like the fact that I'm studying it in the region that it was uh, originally conceived in, if nothing else. Um, and it's in Greek alphabet, of course, uh, ancient Greek. Um, so, one thing I haven't really talked about as well is um, this region is must be is the most diverse in terms of scripts because you have all three of the um, of the alphabets of um, of Europe. I guess you have the Greek alphabet, the Cyrillic, and the Latin alphabet. So, Latin alphabet variation thereof in Albanian, the Cyrillic in Macedonian, um, and the Greek alphabet in Greece. Um, so within a round, you could do a round trip of about um, one day and expose yourself to all three alphabets, um, which is quite remarkable for Europe. Uh, many parts of the world Alphabets are much more diverse. I've heard in India, uh, every region has its own sort of very uh, different alphabet, depending on the language. Uh, but in Europe, we're very boring when it comes to alphabets. Um, then it just goes to the Latin alphabet. There's some exceptions here. Um, we used the Cyrillic, uh, and the Greeks are also stuck by and used their traditional alphabet for their entire existence. Um, but this is the only place where you really see different alphabets everywhere in Europe, which is really cool. Um, so I'm going to settle down to a nice pita, learn a bit of Greek. Um, see you guys in a bit. I was hoping that would be a, this would be a bit better lit up, lit up um, square at night time. It doesn't quite look as majestic as I might have wanted it to. I mean, you can see the statue over there, but um, I can see it really well. But it doesn't really come out very well on the camera. Um, it just looks, I mean, you can barely see it at all. Um, but it looks pretty impressive um, in person. Um, and that's Alexander the Great over there. Again, he's not really very well lit up. Um, the only thing that is well lit up is the advert for uh, Scop Score, which is like the, it's like the lager of this region uh, that people drink most. Um, <clears throat> very nice. Um, so, I can't really convey the majesty of this very well. Um, so, which is a shame, but it gives you all the more reason to come for yourself. 
Um, so it is pretty amazing. So yeah, they put some lights underneath Alexander the Great. That'd be, that'd be pretty sick. Um, but just take more of my word for it. It is pretty cool. Um, yeah. Okay, so basically, uh, I've just been chatting to the guys in my hostel, and um, they were telling me that, you know how I was saying there was a guy who um, was chatting loads of shit about Serbia, and how Serb the Serbian government was innocent in the Yugoslav wars. Well, turns out, um, he got into an argument with my two roommates. Um, <clears throat> you know the guys I went out with last night? And um, uh, they got in an argument about like COVID or something stupid like that. And um, he always punched them in the face. Like he started, probably started on the guy. It was like a guy and a girl. And, um, uh, and uh, he's going to get kicked out tomorrow. He's sleeping in the hostel tonight, um, and the guy and the girl are going to move into a private room. Um, uh, I'm just, I'm just um, slumming out here, um, but I'm not too worried about him because, like, he's a bit of a weedy guy, to be honest. Um, so, if it comes down for it, fuck it, I'll, I'll fucking back it. You know what I mean? But uh, no, I've got to go to sleep. Um, knowing that, got a bus away tomorrow to Tirana, so, yeah, fucking hell, though. Crazy, crazy. But, um, yeah, sweet dreams. I'll see you guys tomorrow.